I think the similarities between myself and the protagonist of Powder Necklace, Lila, uh, were literal and figurative. I think literally, you know, my parents did send me to school back home in Ghana. Uh, I did <laughs> experience a major water crisis at the school that I went to in Ghana, and it was <laughs> a dog-eat-dog, girl-eat-girl kind of situation, very crazy. But I think that, you know, there were a lot of sort of figurative similarities. For example, um, you know, in, in the book, her mother is a single mother and there's their parents are divorced but you know I think that for me that was sort of my way of expressing the feeling of divorce that I felt from my parents and felt from you know all the things that I felt comfortable uh, being as far as my identity was concerned you know here I was you know a, a girl from Queens you know abruptly sent to Ghana and so for me I felt kind of divorced from who I was The title Powder Necklace came about because when I first went to Ghana, I noticed that a lot of people used powder in their sort of daily grooming process. And when I went to the school, uh, because of the major water crisis that was happening, the girls whose parents sent them water would kind of show off that they had taken a bath <laughs> by putting tons of powder on their neck. And I thought that was kind of funny. It almost became this sort of adornment, this jewel around their neck. And then. After a while, the girls who didn't have water, they would put powder on their necks too, so you couldn't really tell. And it kind of, you know, looking back, I found it to be a sort of nice analogy uh, for this idea of holding your head up, you know, in spite of a negative circumstance. I think what's universal about powder necklace to the coming of age process is, you know, I think that most kids or most young girls especially feel kind of you know, it's us against them when, as far as it relates to their parents. I feel like, you know, they feel like their parents don't understand them. And I think that's definitely in Powder Necklace. And then as far as uh, ethnically specific, I think the way her parents handle her, specifically her mother. You know, and there's a Ghanaian sort of, I don't know if it's a proverb, but I heard it a lot growing up was, you know, children are to be seen and not heard and a lot of uh, you know, decisions get made for you and you're kind of, as a, you know, the good Ghanaian child, you're supposed to kind of just go along with it and not ask any questions about it. And I think that that's definitely something that is in you know, Powder Necklace.